Hey guys, and welcome back to our Final Fantasy X Platinum walkthrough. Uh, we have just arrived in Kilika, so we're off the boat. Um, there's not much to do just yet. We have cutscene to watch. So, you know, purvey, purvey, survey, purview, uh, look at the destruction that sin has wrought on this once beautiful village. The pub is closed. Can't get worse than that. But, uh, you know, you can't go over there because everything's broke. Letty's like, no, do this. No, you're not coming this way. So go this away, or that away, whichever way you want. But get here eventually. This is your goal, this area here. And just walk on forward into the cutscene. This is a nice cutscene. Very beautiful. And it sets up some important lore information What's for the game. Some story stuff you gotta somewhere? know. So this is called ascending. I mean you'll get you this from the cutscene. Are, yeah. are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? Basic basically the dead need guidance. You know when you kill a, a bad guy in this game and those those lights come out of it? Like whoosh, just lights coming Filled out of it. With grief over their own death. Those are called fireflies. Those are what bad guys are made of. They yearn to live on. But they're also they those still like alive. the souls of people who died. And because you they're see, they're dead they and they're pissed the off living. about it, they coalesce and form fiends. And in time that envy turns Unless to Unless they get sent hate. to the fire plane, which is like heaven in this game. Except you can actually go there and like Should these souls look at it and get Spira, six lightning marbles for going there. So that prey on the living. You know, pretty trippy. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. See, Lulu's Summer confirming what I got to say. Hmm. So, only summoners do this for some reason. I don't know. I don't think anyone will be able to do it if they could do the dance, which it takes a summoner. Uh, Yuna is now going to walk on water. They don't really explain this, but it looks cool. Uh, if you want to know how she's walking on water, uh, there's an early episode of Naruto all about that. So you can just watch that episode of Naruto and you'll know. Alright, Kakashi Sensei will explain it to you. But anyway, this is the sending. This music that plays. Uh, this plays a lot during the game. Different versions of this song. So, the Hymn of the Faith. It's a nice, nice little tune. Uh, each temple has its own version of the hymn. And you may, you may listen as we go along and you'll, you'll notice. But yeah. Yuna's a pretty good dancer. So here are the fireflies being pulled out of the coffins. And sent. I guess. So this is like a funeral for everybody in Spira, I guess, has to have this so they turn into a monster. I assume that's how it works. But it is a funeral, so people are sad. And Titus is like, damn, this chick is hot as. See, he, he is insensitive. It is a cool dance, though. Dancing around on water like that, on a plume of water. It defies physics, but it looks nice. It must be tough being a summoner. Must be, Titus. She chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. So all we can do is protect. There are a few items that we should be picking up along the way here, uh, but the only important item in this episode is Albed Primer Number Four. What's the end? We will be getting that. Don't worry. 
kid is making an ass of himself. Lulu is like, I can't even deal with this nigga right now. Sin. So she's gone. And that's fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. I hope. <laughs> I hope I did okay. So this is what I mean you did when I say well. some of Yuna's lines sound really still good. But it's because she has to force them into no the same length of time that they say it in Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, I, wish I hope I did okay. There would never okay, be a you. next okay. time. No more people being killed by sin. Nice, doesn't it? No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. To see what you would do. So, are we sleep? And we're at the inn. This kid running around here. This kid is the the best character in Final Fantasy X. Alright. He's got great aspirations. I'm gonna be a blitz ball when I grow up. That's so good I'm talking to him again. I'm gonna be a blitz ball when I grow up. Not a blitz ball player. A blitz ball. And if that's not just ambition, you know, just not only to change your species, but to transcend your very physical form and become a ball. Hey, you awake? Captain so, Waka's waiting for you. Dato here tells you the Waka's looking for you. And if you want to move on, talk to Waka. We don't want to move on just yet. There's a much more efficient way of doing everything here. If you want to save time, go left at the start and save the girl, and then go do what I'm doing. But uh, I didn't plan this route very well, so I'm going to do it a more circumspect way. But that's okay. There's Waka, we don't want to talk to him yet. Here's the shop. Um, talk to the old lady. Buy some equipment if you want. I wouldn't bother. None of it's that good. And now's a good time to go through the sphere grid. Because we got some levels after fighting Sin Sfin. And Sin Spawn Aquiles. So we can continue learning the null spells with Yuna. Now what these spells do is they nullify damage from their respective elements. So Null Blaze removes damage from Fire, you know, Null Shock from Thunder, etc. They are not majorly important, but they're useful for some boss fights. Uh, Kimari has an interesting sphere grid, this is our first time seeing it, in that he has a very kind of short circular path for his own sphere grid, and then he can go off into anyone else's. So you can make him a second black mage, a second white mage, a second fast hitter like Titus, a second heavy hitter, a second, um, jeez, what would, what would you describe Waka as, uh, I don't know, a second guy for hitting flying enemies, I guess, and inflicting status ailments. Um, so it took me some time to decide where I want to go first, but we're going left. That's okay. Uh, the most useful thing for Kimari, I think, is to make him a thief early. Because if you remember that girl Riku, we'll be meeting her again later, but not for a while. So you can get Kimari stealing and using before you'll meet her, which is handy. So, you know, check out your equipment. Those bosses may have dropped stuff. If they did, just see if it's worth equipping. Uh, like that blue armlet that I gave Kamari has water ward. There are no enemies around here who use water as an attack, but that's no reason not to equip it. So, you know, take the time, explore Kilika, listen to the nice music. Slightly nicer music if you're on the PS2, but I'm not going to get into that debate. Head into the bar when you are ready, and pick up Albed Primer Volume 4 from the counter. Very nice. Everyone in here is depressed. Um, I I had in my notes that you get an ether in here, but it wasn't appearing. So I was like, where my ether at, man? So I just left. You know, that's how it is. 
And I went back in, so I like, nah, there's an Easter in there, I know there is. I don't know shit, man. You do get an Easter in here, but this isn't how. I'll show you how. <laughs> you can be damn sure I'll show you how. This, uh, I guess I was thinking. Yeah. I took some time to think, clearly. Um. <laughs> but yes. It must have occurred to me, because what you want to do is head off up to the left. And here is a girl in a hut. What do you want to do? Well, Titus will do it. You don't have to do anything. Hut starts to shake. He saves her life. The guy is fixing the, the boardwalk there. Don't even react. They don't give a shit. Anyway, she says her little blitzball prayer and off she drops. Follow her. Let not the wench escape. Because she goes back to the pub where you get your ether because she is the little sister of the bar woman so that's what you want there you go right there in the chest an ether I don't know if we'll ever use it but there it is so yeah great so now we've done everything we can finally talk to Waka but obviously that would be too easy. So what I did was went back over here to go into the one house I hadn't been in and talk to some people. Of course that's the inn. So I forgot where I was going. That's alright. So yeah, in yeah, this guy won't let you pass until you talk to Waka. But um You can get into the house here behind. Blitz Bobbler. And there's three potions with him. So yeah, potion times three. And this fellow has legitimately been affected by Sin's Toxin. What are you looking at? I ain't on display here. Go away, man. So, you know, turn him into an aggressive dork, but that turned Titus into a regular dork. So Titus never got any Sin's Toxin. He's just an asshole. So now, finalement, let's go and talk to Waka. I kind of took too long in this village, but uh, that's okay because the next video is very... Well, there's a boss fight, so it was going to take a long time anyway. So I think it's best to split him up this way. On to the temple, where we pray for victory. Ugh. I summoner O'Holland used to live in the Kilika temple here. Yep, Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? Lord O'Holland. Praying for victories. Oh, good. Ugh. But is this right? So the moral quandary is a spot is this in really our modern the society. This is the only time the players fight with all their strength. Blitzball cheers the people fans up. Cheer for their favorite so. Team. They forget pain. Oh, it's all good, you know. Suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Let's play and win. Right? So after our chat with Waka, yeah. Temples beyond the jungle there. When it finally ends, tells you go beyond the jungle. Go beyond the jungle! So follow Waka back to the left. I think you'll see him standing here. Uh, I, where are you supposed to be going? No, you don't. But the guy blocking the way is gone, so we can go to the jungle. Or Macalania Woods. <laughs> Macalania Woods. I'm getting ahead of myself. Kilika Woods. Yes. It's not really a jungle. I don't know. It's not a jungly to me. It doesn't seem jungly to me. It's more of a woods. So yeah, Kilika Woods. See you guys in the next episode when we will explore the woods.